Good afternoon and welcome back to Hebden Bridge or the outskirts of Hebden Bridge anyway and today we're on a quick little adventure to explore the hill of Studley Pike and the monument, Studley Pike monument that sits on top of it. So I actually attempted this walk yesterday and I got really close to the pike and I could see it but the mist was coming in really really thick and then it started chucking it down and I was about maybe 300 meters away from the top and I just thought I'd check, I'd check if uh, this expensive new camera that I'd bought is waterproof and the first result back was it is not waterproof and it is not even water resistant do not get it wet so I chucked it in my pocket and ran down so hopefully today we're not going to get any rain it feels a lot nicer but let's just see hopefully we'll get better views than yesterday as well So this right here is one of the hottest Airbnb properties in the Calder Valley. Your very own caravan, surrounded by beautiful dry stone walls and the beautiful hills. It's just £300 a night, so make sure you check it out. Right, and coming up in the distance, I can see the very top of Studley Pike. Let's see if I can show you. It's so much nicer than yesterday. And it looks clear up there, so as long as we get up in the next, I don't know, 20 minutes. There are some dark clouds over there, but I think it'll be all right. 20 minutes to get up there. Oh, I can see some people on the hill already. So if you go into the Yorkshire Hills, or into the hills in the north in general, and some down south as well, you're bound to come across something that holds true beauty. A dry stone wall. Look at that, the dry stone walls around here are amazing. Just snaking all over the hillsides. But that's for another video, I'm gonna do a whole video on dry stone walls. That's gonna be fun. But today, to the pike. Look at this, an old horseshoe. I wonder if there's a horse wandering about that's lost it. How cool, oh and a ruin up there, check this out. Oh, nice. Maybe on the way back down, we'll go in there and explore that ruin. But I just want to get up to the pike before it starts raining. Right. right, so down there, we have Hebden Bridge. And over there is Todmorden. So these are the two places you can kind of get up to Studley Pike easily. There's Crag Vale as well, but the main two towns near it are Hebden Bridge and Todmorden. And both kind of claim ownership of Studley Pike. Is Studley Pike part of Hebden or is it part of Todmorden? And I'm from Hebden, my girlfriend's from Todmorden. And we've had this debate a lot. And the distance, they're about exactly the same. It's about two and a half miles from either. But she did win recently because she remembered that her school uniform had a picture of the pike on it. So maybe they are just a slightly bit more proud of it. But the debate continues. So here we are on the Pennine Way, going that way and that way and up there to Studley Pike. So let's go on up. It's not far now. I'm pretty sure we're going to beat the rain. The great thing about it is as well, you can climb up it. You can climb up Studley Pike. It's 39 meters high, the whole structure, but there's a first level that you can climb to. It's really dark on the stairs going in, but. So there's Studley Pike in the distance and this is where I got to yesterday before turning back. So I was pretty close but we're definitely going to make it up there today with the nice weather. It's actually the sun might come out really nice in a second. And what I also love about it up here is this forest over here. This pine forest, it looks like pine. And it just looks so strange on the top of a Yorkshire hill. But it's just there and it's beautiful. I always think this about flat places or flat areas 
like Norfolk or places in America that are really flat. And I just love that I've grown up in a place where you can have like a 3D perspective on your town. So you can walk up here and you can look down on where you live or you can go up the other hillside and look down on it and see it from all these different angles. I just find it strange when I'm in flat places and think there's no, there's no other view of the town you can have unless you fly. Having those hills really makes you build up such a nice image of your town and it stays with you. You can't forget the hills around here. You just can't. Right, there it is. So there it is, we made it to the pike. Let's go explore it. You right? Hey, you alright? Yeah. And before, when I got here, there was a guy with a torch. He was shining up here. And there's a bat up there. You just can't quite catch it with my camera. But it was pretty cool. So you can see how dark it is as well as you're coming up the steps to get up here. Well check this out. So down there, you've got Hebden Bridge. Then we walk round. Over there you've got Crag Vale, going down to Mythamroyd. Over that way, that's Manchester. Right over there. Down here, we've got Todmorden. And then we're back round. Firmly over that way. Yeah, so that's the views you get from while you're up here. It's amazing. So there's actually been a structure of some sorts up here since 1815. Now the first one was built to commemorate the defeat of Napoleon and the surrender of Paris. And it was completed after the Battle of Waterloo. Now that one didn't actually last very long. It was destroyed by a lightning strike in the 1850s. And then this one was built in 1854 to commemorate the end of the Crimean War. And there's an engraving on it that says it's a peace monument. So this was built as a symbol of peace. And in 1889, a lightning conductor was added to it to stop that ever happening again, it being destroyed. And I think it has been struck a few times since, but it's still standing. Oh, check out these stones as well. The stones are just so huge, so, so big. And you can imagine they must have been carried up from one of the surrounding valleys, Hebden Bridge or Todmorden. Lugging these, I mean that must weigh 100 kilograms, some of these more. I mean they are mammoth stones, mammoth blocks, lugged up here by horses probably. Oh wow. Anyway, let's go back down, down the dark steps. Right, I'll show you the journey now. Some people were ahead of me on the way up, so I didn't really want to talk because uh, one of them kept falling over and then I did a bit as well. Right, let's go down. So here we go, down the steps. You can see how dark it gets immediately. Now it is complete pitch black. The only bit of light that remains is through that grate there. And even that goes. Still going, still going, and there's the light. Nice. So up there, there's an inscription that's really hard to read, but it tells you a bit about the monument. So it says that the monument, it was 1854 that it was struck by lightning and fell. 
and it was rebuilt in 1856. It's so weathered up there, weathered by the time and the wind that's passed, you can just about read it. But it also says, and this is really interesting, it says, by strange coincidence, the pike fell on the day that the Russian ambassador left London before the declaration of war with Russia in 1854. Wow. So there it is, Studley Pike behind me. We made it on a nice day, no rain. My camera survived. And that one there, the one we climbed, the second monument that was built has lasted 166 years. So it's really lasted the test of time. And the one before that, about, I don't know, 30 years. There's no evidence that there was one there before that. So I think it's just these two. Oh, wow, so good. So easy to get to as well from Hebden Bridge, Todmorden, Cragvale. A really easy, nice walk. You just see it and you walk towards it. Dead easy. You don't need a map. Right, let's get back down. So this is the crazy thing about Yorkshire. Yesterday the weather was terrible. This morning the weather was terrible. And then suddenly it's just turned gorgeous. So we've just managed to come out at the right hour when it's been nice. But from now, it's late October, from now until probably March, it's gonna be pretty bleak up in Yorkshire. It gets rainy, gray, very windy. So you have gotta make the most of these moments when it's still nice. If it's snowy, I'll like that. It's just the rain and the wind that does my head in. So over there is that derelict structure that we saw before. But unfortunately, I've not got time to explore it as I need to get home because I'm going to be late for work. So I hope you've enjoyed exploring Studley Pike with me on what's turned out to be a glorious day in Yorkshire. And it's given me the idea to make a video on dry stone walls. So keep on following if you think you might enjoy a video of me wandering around the hills, getting excited by stone. Right, let's go.